welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. I was working part time at a five and dime. My boss was Mr. McGee. He told me several times that he did like my kind. Cause I was a bit too leisurely. She wore a raspberry beret. The kind that you find in a second hand store. Raspberry beret. Get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? Where did you get that song? I heard it on TikTok this morning while you was taking a shower. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you think you're Prince now? Oh, yeah, I got all the moves. Little red Corvette. <clears throat> yeah, okay, you wish. Yeah, I do wish. You gonna buy me one with all that money? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, you were gone all day yesterday. You left in the morning. You didn't come back to last night. Wow. Yeah, I'm tired. I was tired. I went to bed at 8.30 last night. I know. I heard you snoring all night. Well, I was tired. It took a all day to move that mother of mine. Well, has she settled in? Nope, I gotta go back today. We gotta go to the store, groceries and other essentials she needs, toasters and can openers and all that good stuff. Uh, so I won't be by myself again. Yeah, but just think of it this way. You can listen to TikTok. That's true. Yeah. Raspberry beret. Hey, how come I don't have a raspberry beret? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll look for you one today while I'm looking for everything else. That's a good idea. You better work on singing, though. What's wrong with my singing? Ain't no worse than yours. <laughs> That's probably true. That's probably a very accurate statement. Yeah, you are a legend in your own mind. <laughs> All right, let's not be mean. Well, we better get on what we sold, because you didn't do a video yesterday, and... Some of these people probably have the DTs. They're shaking. Just a shaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, Eddie Money, stop. All right, let's get on with the folks. Y'all have a great day. And uh, thumbs up. See you later. Have a good day. Whew. Yeah, I was a tired puppy. I left here. I got up at 6. Got over to the truck place at 8.30. And uh didn't take us but 40 minutes. To, I had to drive and pick up a couch. Then I had to go to my mom's. Took us only 40 minutes to load because they did a great job of packing and getting it ready. Thank you, Karen. And uh, then we... Uh, let me get this angle a little bit better. Then we went to uh, my house, picked up some things I have been accumulating for my mother, who's 78. She moved into a senior 55-plus only brand-new apartment complex about two and a half blocks from me, which is going to be perfect. And uh, then we found, <laughs> you're gonna love this part. I'm driving down the road on the way to my house from her house and I see a yard sale sign. Now, I'm driving a U-Haul. You think, you know you're an eBay reseller when you turn a U-Haul down a street to go to a yard sale. Well, there wasn't anything for me, but there was a lot of stuff for her. Got her an entertainment center. We got a dresser and a uh, end table or a, nightstand, um, some pots and pans and just essential type stuff like that, decorative stuff. And it seemed like there was something else. But anyway, we got all oh, a trash can, a big steel trash can that you put your foot on the lid pops up. Kind of like JT. And uh, anyway, yeah. So I loaded that up and then went to my house and unloaded a couple of things that are staying here and then on, on to the show. But wow, yeah. Uh, this old man's getting old and he's moved about 30 times in his life and I hate moving. I hate moving. So she's in and there you go. So now we're going to get on with the sales. Two days of sales. Thursday was a great day. Friday wasn't so great, but together I cleared that 300 profit goal, which is 150 a day profit. So we'll take it. We'll take it. So here we go. Appreciate you and see you in a minute. All right, these are Thursday sales. There were 12, and let's get started. The first thing is this uh, Sega Genesis Bonkers. It's got everything with it. It is complete, as they would say. 
And um, I got 16 of these Sega Genesis games with a Sega Genesis system and two GameCube games last summer for $50. I've had a hard time letting go of them, but I've got them all listed now. This is the second one I've sold. I did list them a little high, especially the ones in the uh, hard case, because these are pristine. The covers on the game themselves are perfect. Uh, there's no staining. There's no peeling, no fading. This lady took care of it. They were hers. She was in her 40s, and they were her original games and had been stored away for years and she finally got rid of them and I got a great deal, 50 bucks for all of them. So as they sell, you'll see them, but I'm listing them a little higher than the uh, sold comps because of the uh, condition. There you go. So on the valuation, I did 275 a piece. I left the Genesis system out because I'm not getting rid of it right now. I'm gonna keep it to test games when I find them. So I'm just comping the $50 into the 16 or 18 games, 275 in, sold this for 29 and here's my profit. The next is a Joe Mez Pro, and I don't even know what this was when I picked it up, but it is a Frisbee Disc Golf. Uh, there you go. Figured it out. Real easy, right? Paid $4 at a yard sale for this, sold it for $13.99. It is new with shipping on top. Here's my profit. The next are antique church bells. They're brass. I had one other. I sold it individually. These two, I got them in a $5 bag, so I don't have much into them. I, I just valued this at a dollar. And uh, at this uh, yard sale, it was a lot of antiques and stuff. And he was doing $5 bags, so I grabbed a lot of different things. So sold these for $25 on a best offer. When I saw this, uh, I counted at 27. He counted at 25, I took the deal. Plus shipping, here's my profit. The next are blue tattoo women's jeans. I've had these since July of 2019. That's why I'm not doing much in the jeans anymore unless they're vintage or unless they're uh, rock revival. So I paid 419 back then for these, sold them for 13, they went in a flat rate envelope. And here's my profit. The next is the plush. This is the Pillow Buddy, new with tags from uh, last Thursday's uh, estate sale where I spent $157 on everything. Uh, 100 of it was a train uh, track, a rector set and slot car track set. And the rest was just miscellaneous ball caps and some plush. I cleaned this up and had some hair on it and stuff, and it uh, smelled smoky because the guy was a smoker, but I got it all cleaned up, and this is from 1998 J.C. Penney. It is a large Scooby-Doo plush. This went in a 12 by 12 by 8 box. Paid a dollar for this in the valuation. Sold it for 25 on an auction. I had 12 bids. Thought it would go a little higher, but I made a mistake of ending the bid on a Thursday during the day, and with a couple other things you'll see here on the solds, I made the same mistake. Try to run those to end at night or on weekends at night. That way you're getting some uh, more people maybe involved in the bidding. But anyway, one into 25, I'll take it. And uh, that big old thing's already out of here. So here's my profit. The next is one of the other things, the trains. Uh, this is an atomic reactor. Kusan Auburn is the manufacturer. This is from the late 50s, early 60s. And um, I paid uh, $10 as the valuation. Sold it for $29 plus shipping. And here's my profit. All right. The other one that I sold in the same situation, this is a U.S. Army 42010. It's a flat car with a uh, kind of a howitzer on there. Again, these from the late 50s, early 60s. Valued this at $10, sold it for $29 as well, plus shipping, and here's my profit. I haven't uh, been paid for this one, but he promised me to pay me at noon on Friday, so there you go. The next is a vintage knee-high uh, enamel sign or porcelain sign. Um, it's got one issue where on the back, Somebody had it up against something for a long time and it kind of bent a little bit, but it was described in the listing. I had it, it took me a little while to sell this. I got it back in November at an estate sale and um, 
I paid 40 bucks for it. I tried to negotiate and get it down, um, but uh, they wouldn't budge. It was the first day of the estate sale. So I did finally get rid of it. I sold it for $92 plus shipping. And I put that in two LP record boxes, shrink wrapped and Franken box the heck out of it. Um, on this one, again, I sold it for 92 with 40 invested. So here's my profit. The next is from the estate sale as well. It is a Daisy 20th anniversary 880 model rifle, uh, air rifle, BB pellet gun. And I showed it to you the other day when I picked up and, and I had an estate sale, went to an estate sale last week. The only issue with this gun, and I didn't know it till I took the pictures, apparently the end had some issues where it broke off, as you can see on the tip. And they had put some JB Weld or some kind of stuff on the tip of it. And I did, I did describe it. The person did ask me about it. And again, I Frankenbox this. This is going FedEx ground. The difference was $33 with USPS. And FedEx is charging about 15, what was it, 15? No, 1322. So I paid uh, 10 for this rifle. I sold it for 55 on a best offer. And uh, here's my profit. I've got one more that's got a bunch of watchers and there's nothing wrong with it. It's an original box. The next is Simpsons Toppers. There's three of these. Paid a dollar a piece. They're all Homer. One's got Homer and Marge on a motorcycle. And the other two are identical homers. Um, Three dollars in. I sold these on a best offer of fourteen dollars, plus shipping. And uh, here's my profit. The next, this is for you, Gwendolyn. This is a Bravo satin jacket. I've actually had this since July of 2019. It is a religious theme, as you can see. Very blinged out, kind of a kind of a puffy jacket, not a puffer, but a puffy kind of jacket. Um, but it's, like I said, it's got, it has a $99 tag on it and I thought it would fly off the shelf, uh, but it did not. Here's the tag and it is by Bravo. Well, my pictures were horrible. Here's the back of it and you can see it's got a lot of, a lot of bling. Bada bing, baby. Bada bing. Oh, blada, blada bing. A lot of bing. Never mind. I uh, paid $4.23, and I finally sold this thing for $14.99, plus shipping. Glad to see it gone. And uh, here's my profit. The next is, uh, and the last, is Ratchet and Clank, a Ratchet Clank, full frontal assault for PS3. This disc is in, man, in pristine condition. I got this at the dollar uh, last a week ago, Saturday sale, where I spent ninety-seven dollars on ninety-seven games, a dollar a piece. Sold this one for sixteen ninety-nine plus shipping, and here's my profit. So on the day I had twelve sales. Here's my cost of goods. Here's my total sales, and here's another great day of profit. I hope your sales are as good, and uh, I will see you in a bit. I'm going to go move my mother, and this video will air later today. And uh, have a great day, folks. And the Cap Guy and JT will see you in a bit. All right. Since I didn't uh, do a video and I showed you what I sold on Thursday, now I'm going to show you what I sold on Friday. Not as good a day, but combined, I did over 300 in profit. So uh, the sales were, like I said, slow, but... Combine the two, it's not the road you're on, it's the destination that you're getting to. And that's 150 profit a day for me. And here we go with Friday sales. The first one, We Rock Band, Track Pack Volume 2, not real valuable. Paid uh, nothing for this. I got it in a bundle deal with a Wii, but it only sold for $7.90 plus shipping. And here's my profit. <coughs> Excuse me, here's a rare opportunity. University of Oklahoma's Face Painting Fanatic Plush, 12 inch. I got this in the uh, plush deal. This sticks to your windshield or your uh, wind side window. And uh, it's new with tags. Got it for 26 cents in a bundle deal of 94 plush. I did a video on it a little over a week ago. Plush are definitely something you want to be looking at. I've made hundreds of dollars off this lot. Um, there you go. 
uh, paid 26 cents, sold this for $16.49, free shipping, and here's my profit. The next is uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the original Xbox. It's on a lot of platforms, but this is the original. And I uh, cleaned the disc, and this one I sold. I had 202 invested from Goodwill, sold it for 14 plus shipping. Here's my profit. The next, this is a Ricky Craven Hendrix Motorsports Bud Racing t-shirt. XL. It's going to a vintage shop in California. <clears throat> Dang it. And uh, he offered me 15 so I took it because I've had it for a long time. I could not find what I paid for it. I, at the most, I would have paid three thirty-three, dollars And uh, so that's what I valued it at. Could have been less. But I sold it for 15 plus shipping, and here's my profit. The next is Iron Man Funko Pop number 285, Avengers Infinity War. I paid $282 in a bundle deal, and I'm already well in the profit on that bundle deal uh, for 30 of these different ones, and some are more valuable than others. This is one of the low-end value ones, but I listed it to get rid of it. And $282 in, $750 out, plus shipping. Here's my profit. The next is Star Wars Platinum Hits. <clears throat> Knights of the Old Republic. This is just a disc only. Again, another bundle deal. I do a lot of bundle deals. 130 or 68 games for $130. I made my money back off the first video game I sold, Xenosaga on PS2. And um, it's on the profit on all the rest of them. Um, 214 in, sold it for $12 plus shipping. Here's my profit. The next is a bundle of two Wii Sports games, Summer Sports Paradise Island and Island Sports Party. Summer Sports 2. And I had 404 invested from Goodwill, 202 each. Sold these for 17 plus shipping. Here's my profit. And the last thing I sold yesterday, another low-end Xbox game, 360, FIFA World Cup 2010, South Africa. I paid, um, did I pay for this? I paid a dollar at a yard sale. Sold it for, actually in that Saturday yard sale where I did another bundle deal, 97 games, $97, dollar a piece. Sold this for $6.29 plus free shipping, and here's my measly profit, but sometimes you just got to get rid of some of these games that are really low value, and any profit's good profit. So there you go. Sales or sales, profit's profit. I appreciate everybody as always, the new subscribers, and everybody that's been with me since the beginning. I say it all the time. I got to get out of here. We're going to be, got my mom moved in yesterday, and now we're going to be going to the grocery store and some other places for some essentials and things she needs for the new apartment. And uh, y'all have a great Saturday. I hope your sales are good as well, and I hope I have more sales. I got one so far today. So there you go. Have a great day, folks, and the Cap Guy and JT, we will be back and talk to you tomorrow.